good morning scroll talkers. Um, this is going to be a, a little break from our normal programming. We are going to cover the Dalton board today. This is uh, made by Mark Hebner. It's kind of hard. For some reason, it's, it's not focusing. There we go. Just got to cover my face. Okay. This is a fantastic thing. Check it out, galtonboard.com, or I think it will redirect you to this, this URL. So fun. If you like probability and statistics, so fun. But what I want to do today is a challenge. I want to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to require Claude and maybe ChatGPT here. Um, what are the top 10 most common slash important statistical distributions in nature and we're gonna we are going to ask both of them this and then what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to recreate all ten of them in with the, with our Galton board of course the normal one well, um, let's uh, let's make a scroll website for this distributions I'm gonna make it dot I'm gonna put this on my own domain and let's have, okay, give this to me in scroll format with a link to the Wikipedia page for each. Uh, you know what, give this to me as a CSV and we'll turn it into scroll with a link to the Wikipedia page for each and five other interesting columns such as when it was first identified such as the year when it was first identified let's give that same task to claude and then we're gonna we're gonna turn this into a little website Don't worry, it'll be quick. Jeez, ChatGPT sure taking its time. Download CSV file. Distributions. CSV. Distributions. Oh, I really want autocomplete there. Print table. Let's see what we got. Let me let me change the theme to Gazette, and let's add table search here. Oh, that's a little too wide. Let's make it um, 600 px pixels. Oh, that's a little too too narrow. Let's do let's do 800, or let's just do a standard container. I think that's 1200 is the standard there. Okay, there we go. So we got the normal, the sort, uniform. I mean, 900, 1900s uniform, I don't know. exponential, log normal, Cauchy gamma, normal. Oh, the normal was 1733. So this was way before Mr. Uh, Mr. Galton. Okay, so now we want a, um, a, a screenshot of all of these. Um, let's, um, maybe we'll have to make our own. We're gonna max out at 10 minutes here. Okay, what we're gonna do is open Okay, the geometric distribution, not to be confused with the hypergeometric distribution. Okay, that's up first. Let's see if we can do it. Um, is this, uh, this is like the parade, paratio, Pareto ratio, whatever, I forget, geometric, two, one of two discrete number of, Okay. 
Just show me the shape. I think we'll just go with this shape right here. So yeah, so the probability, okay, so. I see, it's like, how many times, what's the probability you're gonna flip 10 heads in a row or something like that? This one's a pretty easy one to, to create. We're just gonna tilt it like this. Yeah, we get, ah. Uh, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't so good. Here we go, let's try again. Ah, uh, nope. Sorry. Third time's a charm, so let me think. We really need the bias to be heavy, so we, re we need a heavy tilt. Maybe we'll just do it this way. Yeah, we got a real heavy tilt to get to get this guy. Here we go, we're doing it, we're getting it. I really should be working right now, but it was just a little break. Ooh, working, coding all day. All right, well that's close enough. That's number one. Number two. Binomial. So, are we doing CDFs or are we doing probability mass functions? I'm guessing we're doing probability mass. What's the difference between binomial and normal? Is a binomial a type of normal? Prob I forget. What's this one again? Uh. I forget the words. Too many words. This one, I mean, that's gotta be a, a normal, eh? What's, is a binomial a type of normal? Don't make me think. Type of normal? Or is normal a type, a subset of binomial? Discrete probability that describes the number of success. Uh, what? So binomial can approximate a normal when n is large and p is not close to zero, one. All right, well, that's good enough. We got the shape. Normal, we've done beta distribution. What in God's name is this? In probability statistics. I did study all these. I did get an A plus in statistics 20 years ago. I'm not actually sure if they give out A pluses, but I, that was my best class. But then I forgot all these terms. Beta distribution, family of... Uh, Oh my goodness, what, what is the beta distribution? Give it to me in physics terms. What are examples of beta distribution? I think I might have actually done this before. Beta. No. Okay, um, if you want to model probability of heads, probably that's actually the true probability of heads. What physical phenomena follow the beta distribution? Probabilities of proportional rates exchange between zero and one. So, yeah, this is what I thought. Radiation, beta distribution model proportional to the range of for exposure to radiation. Okay. So a proportion.
So they just have, they, they give me a ton of different, so it can look really different, I guess, depending upon the parameters. So we'd really have to pick, let's pick, uh, tell you what, let's pick alpha equals beta equals 0 0.5. That one looks like an interesting one. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna have to go hard, hard left and then a hard right. Hard left. Right. And look, we've got that U. We've got the U. Uh, can you not see this? Ah, there we go. Okay, we've got the U. Poisson! Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Um, this is like phone calls, right? Um, and so it's kind of like a skewed normal. So this is an easy enough one to make. So if you, it looks like if you've got lambda high, then you've got kind of a normal looking curve, but let's do lim, lambda low and we're just gonna kind of skew it. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a, a bias. All right. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I mean, really, we start to realize that all these kind of look the same. But maybe I'm being an idiot and just like not thinking this through. Um, like, how, this just kind of looks the same as the last one. Just got a little bit of a bias. Maybe it's a narrower, it's got a narrower squeeze, but it looks like you can change the parameters to make, make that. Um, Ooh, look at this one. This one's just... Let's do this one with a gamma of 0 0.5 and x0 of 0. Couch distribution. Lorentz distribution. Okay, so how are we gonna get that, that peak? Huh. That sharp peak I wanna go for. How are we gonna do that? We might have to, huh. This is gonna be tricky. This is what we're getting. How can we filter things to get a very sharp peak around the mean? Hmm. We want few outliers. We want a really tight distribution. Um, so we really, because the problem is when, when these balls hit, you know, like when we tilt it left, we, we greatly increase the probability it's gonna bounce left. So as a right, we greatly increase the probability it's gonna bounce right. Now we want even probability, but we want, we want to narrow the, we really want to make it like super even. We want to reduce the variance, we want to reduce the volatility. This, this is a fun one. This, this is a fun one. Ah, oh, I can't think of it right now. I'm gonna come back to that. This is a fun one. Log normal. So yeah, so so I guess it becomes interesting when you want to get a real, when you 
when you want to get real a real spike in the sky. It's very easy to get a perfect spike along the extremes, which is interesting. But to get a perfect spike not along the extremes, it's more difficult. That's kind of a fun one. Exponential. Let's do an exponential. We've already kind of done that. But here's my investment returns. Sort of an exponential. This last one. Okay. Um, CDF. Well, that's not what we want. Uniform. How would we get a uniform distribution? That's also kind of an interesting challenge. What if we just do a shape? Nope. We got the normal. Normal. What about if we did, we do a bias, a shifting bias? Oh, there we go. Sort of, that's closer to the uniform. Let's try that again. I'm just gonna go slow. Kind of screwed it up, but we're getting closer. Oh shit, we're way over time. Well, that was fun. We struggled with certain types of distributions. We did some science, got some stuff to think about. And this is how I do science. Fucking random. <laughs> Cheers.